What's up everyone, it's Scotty with Money Vesting. In this video, we are gonna be talking about Take-Two Interactive, ticker symbol TTWO. I did a video on this company just a couple days ago talking about the potential that this company has. And pre-market, it is up a little bit over 11% right now, trading past over 139, almost at $140 per share. So definitely getting a huge, huge momentum and spike on earnings miss. And then also a little bit of a revenue beat coming in for the company. But it's not so much about the current numbers that was exciting, but really the focus on the future and more specifically, kind of guiding out to 2025 and even 2026, talking about it, not really guiding specifically, but talking about it was enough to get investors really excited about what's to come with this company. So of course, Grand Theft Auto 6 is gonna be the main key driver of this potential growth year. That's of course uh, on speculation because the company didn't explicitly state that GTA 6 is coming out anytime soon. So hope you guys enjoyed this video, find it helpful. If you do, make sure that you drop a like. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel if you're just joining us for the first time. Link to our Discord and Patreon is gonna be down below. Um, and again, there's a 16% annual discount available till the end of this month. So there's about 12 days left if you wanna take advantage of that. Uh, and of course, get access to all the private live streams, all the benefits, everything's gonna be included with the link down below. So this right here is going to be the move up over 11% pre-market as of the time of this video, getting a very nice breakout past $133, which was previously a resistance. But we're gonna circle back to the technical analysis here in just a minute. So for the entire fiscal year 2023, uh, by the way, they're now gonna be entering the fiscal year 24 for the company, right? So they're on a little bit of a different fiscal year um, than most companies. They're not also not following the calendar year. So for fiscal year 23, you can see a significant growth in long-term net bookings for the company coming in at $5.2 billion. That's an annual record for the company. And a lot of it had to do with the acquisition of Zynga, which came in at the right time, at the right place, at the middle of last year. And they were able to catapult this number to, to significant growth here and recurring consumer spending at almost $4.1 billion, and that's up from $2.1 billion. And, and the interesting thing is that a lot of the net bookings are now coming in from mobile, right? 47% is coming from mobile, which obviously makes a lot of sense because of Zynga. And, uh, you know, at the time it was at $405 million in 2022. So that's an increase of about, uh, you know, whatever that is. I think it's a 5x growth here for the company to over two point, actually 6x growth probably uh, to over 2.5 billion dollars and what's actually quite concerning which may get resolved in the future is that if you take a look at console it is now 43 percent at 2.2 billion it's actually been declining since fiscal year 21 so 2.6 down to 2.4 and down to 2.2 billion dollars now reading further you'll notice that in their press release issued alongside its yearly earnings report take two shared projections for the coming years including a massive projection for fiscal year 2025 and 2026. For context, fiscal year 25 will begin in April of 24. So right now we're in fiscal 24, which started in April of this year. Now looking ahead, fiscal 25 is a highly anticipated year for our company. The release states, for the last several years, we've been preparing our business to release an incredibly robust pipeline of projects that we believe will take our company to even greater levels of success. In fiscal 25, we expect to enter this new era by launching several groundbreaking, groundbreaking titles that we believe will set new standards in our industry and enable us to achieve over $8 billion in net bookings and over $1 billion in adjusted, unrestricted operating cash flow. And we expect to sustain this momentum by delivering even higher levels of operating results in fiscal 26 and beyond. Like if a company states that knowing take to interactive, I mean, they're not going to be able to achieve over $8 billion in net bookings. And that's coming in from what? 5.2 billion. So if you do the math, eight divided by 5.2, we're looking at a 53% growth in the next two years. It's not going to be easy unless they release some groundbreaking behemoth titles moving forward. So while take two doesn't explicitly name Grand Theft Auto here, uh, it's hard to imagine any other franchise doing this work for them. For one, Take Two's net bookings this past fiscal year reached 5.3 billion, a record annual high. Notably, that this record was reached thanks to contribution from, uh, from Zynga, which it acquired last year. Prior to this, Take Two was at around 3 billion, consistently growing. Um, but so to achieve $8 billion, Take Two would need to make significant acquisitions or, re or ne release nearly double the amount of games it, is, it historically has, or release at least one absolute behemoth of a game. And Take Two does not. Uh, to do or expects to do even better in its taking of the following year, something that seems impossible without something like GTA Online built on the foundations of the brand new GTA game to propel its revenue sky 
high and it's 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 hard to imagine any other franchise or even multiple new games combined doing these kinds of numbers so that's really what it comes down to i think uh my fair value is going to be staying steady at around 66 to 73 dollars which obviously is going to be uh, about a 50 percent decline from here but i think those those key things those statements about fiscal 25 and 26 and kind of propelling to a whole new high of net bookings uh, is what's really driving the stock to the upside. So it's not really so much about the current earnings or EPS or revenue because the company did report a loss uh, because they have been, you know, doing all these acquisitions and Zynga's acquisition, uh, you know, reporting some gap, lo gap losses. But nonetheless, the future really is super bright if they are able to execute on these, uh, on these titles, right? And they also mentioned their investor presentation that they are going to be taking advantage of eSports, Web 3.0, uh, emerging markets and a lot of other sort of, uh, you know, even the, even the artificial intelligence and metaverse aspect of gaming is going to evolve over time to a point where Take-Two has got a huge potential, uh, in my opinion, for, for what GTA 6 could be in the future. So uh, I think it's, it's, it's a lot more of a story-driven company right now, a lot of momentum coming in because of the story around the stock and the anticipation of the most awaited GTA 6 for almost 10 years now. Uh, which no doubt is going to, in my opinion at least, is going to propel the company to new heights uh, when it comes to the revenue, the bookings. Uh, I, for one, know that I'm going to be super excited about that. I'm going to be buying the game as soon as it comes out, playing it, literally just going off the grid and playing GTA 6 uh, for a few days until, you know, come back online. But but those are the type of things that, you know, are, is what's exciting. Uh, but let me know your thoughts down in the comment section below. I do think the valuation is a little too high at around $140. So this is not going to be a stock that I start to go you know, crazy over anytime soon. But uh, there is going to be some flexibility in terms of that fair value or that intrinsic value that I have. Um, you know, Even if that is going to be sitting roughly between $66 and $73, I think even at that support at $83, $84 to as much as low 90s is something that I would personally consider to get a little skin in the game, get started once again with Take Two Interactive before the train leaves the station on this anticipation of this GTA 6 title. So, hope you guys enjoyed this video. This is going to be the new support, and this is what we're going to be watching on the day as soon as it gaps up to see if it comes down, validates that support, and starts to move back up. And there are going to be some resistance levels next to watch for Take Two. A more prominent resistance is going to be staying put at 184. That's going to be in line with, again, this previous resistance. A couple of times we got rejected here, rejected here. So that is going to be that next resistance to watch for Take-Two Interactive with a support sitting roughly at 134. So hope you guys enjoyed this video and find it helpful. If you do, make sure that you drop a like. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel if you're just joining us for the first time. The link to our Discord and Patreon is going to be down below with that 16% annual discount. Only a few spots left if you want to take advantage of that. Um, and let me know your thoughts down in the comment section below for GTA 6 and for Take-Two Interactive. As always, happy investing and I'll see you all in the next video.